the needs of the patient come first. But over the years, I think we've learned more and more and more that if we don't attend to the emotional and psychological needs of the caregiver, the clinician, the patients don't get a fair shake. And by the way, uh, we care about the caregiver as well. That's been in evolution for decades. My own daughter trained as a physician, got a very, very different set of um, uh, signals. I remember her telling me when she was in her anatomy class how they put her in touch with the family of the person who had donated their their body for the for the education of medical students. So there's been some good evolution here, but COVID, like so many things, has really amped this up uh, as we watch the stress on the healthcare workforce at all levels. Uh, two changes. One is that we're, we're we're even more in touch than we ever have before about the behavioral burdens, the, the the mental health issues that arise when dealing with a crisis like this. And second, we've definitely broadened our view of what the workforce is and realized the stresses are are just as great, even greater in some ways, uh, for people who don't have the badge of an MD or the degree of an RN. Um, so we, we it's broadened our view. So this is really, really important stuff now. It's always been now even more.